you have to be uh, a renegade. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you know, uh, he missed that. Good morning, beautiful people. What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Go ahead, first like, comment, and subscribe on this video because you're gonna love it. It's gonna be me ranting, kind of ranting, me thinking my thoughts and just letting it be out there, let it be known. Okay, so let's get right into it. Straight, plain, and simple. So lately, for like the past week, I've been listening to the audiobook 48 Laws of Power. And it's a very good, right? But then the other spectrum, the other side of everything, it's like, okay, if you go into it with an open mind, you can interpret it as you will, and it can be advantageous for yourself and for you. But a lot of people don't think like that because everybody's in a group think mentality. And that's the biggest problem with our society. A lot of people don't think for themselves. They fall into, I guess that's just human nature as well. But a lot of people don't think about that, you know? They fall into a group think mentality. And so they say whenever one person has this thought, because they're not um, confident enough to accept that thought and run with that thought themselves, their own specific thought instead they fall into that whole group and they say okay there's power numbers so whatever i think this is, what I'm this is like a personal actualization you can say because that goes back to the hierarchy of needs how oftentimes in our life we have it flipped upside down where we're at the very bottom like we don't care about ourselves in reality you should preserve yourself and take care of yourself prioritize that and it's very 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 selfish and very very uncommon to think of it like that but the reason i say that is because <clears throat> when you, in the grand spectrum of everything if you take care of yourself you take care of your goals and you achieve your goals and you work towards your goals and you get those goals and you have all that you know financial success all that emotional success all that physical success that you're achieving you're striving for what it becomes is an opportunity for you to help all those other levels, all those other people below you, help you achieve those dreams of getting your people, I guess, for instance, out of the hood or getting those people out of that circumstances that they were put into, not by their choice, but because that's just what happened, the misfortune, right? And that kind of goes back to the book because uh, it is actually, I think, law number 10 or 9. And within that, um, the author states, I was listening to the audiobook, the author states something about... Guys, it's my dad's name right now. Okay. Basically, right, what it states in the... Why is he touching everything? Like a little kid. This guy here. So, going back to what I was talking about with the book. So, it's like law number 9 or 10, right? And in law number 9 or 10, what is stated is something along the lines about how... Whenever people that are born into misfortune, born into circumstances where they have no control over, yes, they deserve some sympathy, some empathy at the beginning, initial stages and stuff like that, right? But you should not give that same empathy and sympathy to people that are not born in those circumstances, but instead force those circumstances upon themselves by the way that they think, by the way that they act, by the way that they react, right? Because a lot of the things in life are determined by your reaction. And if you have a positive reaction in every light of your life, no matter the weight or severity of the situation, what will happen is you'll rise above that, right? And you'll make your mindset a lot greater, make you as a person, your character be built up and be a lot stronger, right? So think about that. Like, break it down. If you are being empathetic and sympathetic to, for instance, someone that does not care or not, has not gone through the same amount of situations as you, instead of complaining about them doing that, just don't give them the time of day. Don't give them the power to believe that they can claim to have the same situation, severity of the situation, and be asking for far more that they don't earn or they don't deserve, right? So go out there and don't let, hope you guys can hear me okay, because it's getting windy. But don't go out there and let their circumstances and their situation affect you, even if it's like the same kind of, uh, you know, initial, initial statement, right? So hopping back onto this video and everything that's going on here, uh, basically going today's, you know, the overall message, right, is if you want something that the results are uncommon, if you want to do something that hasn't been done or hasn't been done excessively, what you have to do is not do the things that are common. You have to be, you have to be uh, a renegade, Ooh, vocabulary, you have to be a renegade, you have to be someone that goes against the grain. And it's very cliche because a lot of times nowadays people think, oh, wow, yeah, uh, I want to be different, I want to be different. But there's, there's a micro 
micro segmentation within that I want to be different because right now wanting to be different is becoming a group think and a group think mentality right so what you have to do is recognize that and find it within that microscopic level that niche within that niche to really be different to really think different right because what's happening now is a lot of political sightings and it's becoming polarization on both sides right and so what you have to do is you have to rise above that and create your own thoughts and your own processes i think we should be more green parties you know let's have more of both sides but in reality there's really only two parties and there's only two options in life there's a yes and there's a no there's a this way and there's a that way there's not a this way and that way even though we try to find that common ground oftentimes we don't find that common ground because everybody won't be happy one side will be happy one side won't be happy right and so whenever you're going through circumstances and situations in your life that you feel you can't make a decision on realize that there's only two options there's either success or failure and you're going to choose if you're going to take that step today to work toward that success or if you're going to take that step today and work toward failure but either way it goes it's going to be this way or that way and that decision is always going to be yours don't let anybody tell you that it's not because at the end of the day you have control of your body you know there's a spiritual realm and there's a spiritual power i feel that's controlling all of us and there's you know predestined things but on a day-to-day -day basis when you get up praise be to god it is in your hands of what are you going to do how are you going to take advantage of the day how are you going to rule the day or is the day going to rule you um but yeah Fall out of that group thing mentality. Become independent thinkers. And truly independent thinkers don't think like everybody else does. Don't think being different is the minority. Instead, they think being different and then finding some difference within that is the true minority. The microscopic segmentation I mentioned earlier. But with that being said, I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I'll probably be doing more like these because I do get busy. But I do want to put out content to you guys. And if this is something I can do, I'll either start. I'll probably start a podcast sometime soon with my, my buddy. And we'll be talking about stuff like this. But if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like, a comment, and then click that subscribe button. And stay tuned to the very end of this card and click some other video. I really appreciate it. Go out there and share this video. Go out there and be great. Go have a freaking fantastic, marvelous, phenomenal, amazing, amazing, amazing day. Happy Easter if you're watching this video on Easter Sunday. And if not, have a fantastic life and keep coming back because there will be more quality content as things get better in my life. And I hope that they get better in your life too. That being said, I love you guys. You beautiful, beautiful people. I'll catch you later. You can do it, mean. Oh.